there's no way through there. It's flooded on the road outside our house. Bow wave. That's one way of taking it, I suppose. Not the usual sight. Well, the road's completely flooded now and people still think they can get through, which is a bit bizarre. Yeah. Water's Lane is yeah. flooded. It's an appropriate name, now we know why it's called that. Hmm. Let's take it easy. Yeah. No. Please stop this by lane size farm at the third one of those as well. And we've got it with it's something that was coming down the car. And then it didn't just move. And we got to it was something nice. What did you do? Did you stay at home last night? Yes. 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 All those fields flooded over there. Down Middle Gate now.
rest of the bowls quite up there. I don't think they'll be doing too much of that in the next few days. It's the fire brigade down there currently trying to get the water out of some people's houses at the end, I think. In Sedbury Lane now, look at this. Well, I've never seen the Beck that fall before, it's safe to say. Still raining out there. Yes. Last night we couldn't get home. God, it was a nightmare, wasn't it? Yeah. It's the 25th of September today, the Tuesday. Yeah, and uh, we went out to Darlington yesterday and coming back down Gilling Bank the hill. God, it was crazy, wasn't yes. it? And at the bottom there was a police lady and the road was shut because there was a big flood. So we went back up onto the A66 went all the way down to, to Scotch Corner and then tried to come back through Skeeby. That road was shut. Yes. Then after that, we, we went all the way on to the A1. Yeah. And that was horrible, wasn't it? Rainy and everything. Yes. Came off to Brompton on Swale, drove back to Richmond, and then when we came back down the hill from the other direction this time, we were stopped again near Laneside Farm. There was a policeman. He said we couldn't go through, didn't no. they? And uh, Dad wasn't very happy about it, and no. Mum wasn't. And we didn't know what to do because the policeman said it was too deep to go through. So both ways were cut off for us, but there was something wrong with our car, wasn't there? Yes. A clanking underneath. Yes. So what happened then? Yeah, got a green flag. Yeah, the trap took it off. Yeah, it took ages for him to arrive over an hour, didn't it? Maybe an hour and a half? Yes. Maybe an hour and 40 minutes and eventually the, the fellow from Green Flag came, it was only the heat shield for the exhaust, so it wasn't anything major, but um, yeah, he said that uh, we couldn't get through, even with his truck, he didn't no. want to come through the village this way, so we were a bit worried by this time, it's getting on for 10 o'clock, we had left Darlington at 10 to 7, <laughs> um, but luckily he said that he thought the village was now accessible from the, the north end, so we went all, I had to drive, Yes. We went all the way back to Brompton on Swale, along the A1M, which has got roadworks at the moment and was starting to get a bit flooded. Um, came back out to Scotch Corner. <laughs> yes. Back down the A66 and then came down Gilling Bank. And the rivers of water that were there earlier weren't nearly as bad. And although it was a bit flooded in the village, it wasn't too bad. No. And then it seemed to ease off a bit, but then this morning again, look what's happened. Wow. Yeah. <gasps> What's the weather like at the moment? today? Yeah, so we got home, what time was it? It's getting half past up, ten. Half, half past ten, yeah, I think afterwards, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Was it a few minutes? God, what a day, hey? Yes. <laughs> Are you going to go out for a little stroll around the village? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Just heading out for a walk. Yeah. Look at that maniac down there, John. Oh, that one got to me. I think they might have soaked a bit of water into that one's exhaust. <laughs> 